Hi friends, how are you all? In the previous video, I was explained the basic block diagram as well as pin diagram of TMA controller. So in that uh, pin diagram, some pins uh, because of my image, some pins are uh, not uh, viewed properly. For that reason, uh, in the comment section, I mentioned the link where we get that particular pin diagram. Just focus, okay? Right. So now coming to this particular video, I'm giving you a brief idea about uh, uh, the various registers of DMA controller. Okay. Let us see how, what are the various registers present in DMA controller, especially 8257IC. Okay. See the topic. registers see the registers of dma controller so in that uh, we have various registers let us see uh, first one is uh, we have 16 bit address register so uh, in the block diagram i mentioned for every channel we have 16 bit address registers right see here uh, if you consider uh, dma address register and now it, it is having six to 16 bits d naught to d15 so each uh, having address lines A0 to A15, like that uh, uh, DMA address register may having 16 address lines from A0 to A15. So due to these 16 address lines, so each DMA can access uh, 2 power 16 uh, memory locations, nothing but 64 kilobytes of memory. So uh, the registers of DMA controller in that uh, one register is called as a 16 bit address register, also called as a DMA address register. So in that address register, uh, we have 16 address lines a0 to a15 16 address bits are there a0 to a15 due to these 16 address bits each channel of dma can access 2 power 16 memory locations nothing but uh, uh, 64 kilobytes of memory okay now coming to other register is called as terminal count register terminal count register say it is having terminal bits as well as count bits see here it is also 16 bit register okay d0 to d15 in that uh, last two bits are terminal bits, T0 and T1 are terminal bits and remaining 14 bits, C0 to C13 are called as uh, count bits. So we have 14 uh, count bits and uh, two terminal bits. So you know count bits uh, counting how many DMA cycles are performed. Okay, For that reason we are using uh, count bits, C0 to C13 for uh, uh, okay, these bits are used to find out uh, the counting of the DMA cycles, how many DMA cycles are performed. Okay, that information is present in C0 to C13. 14 count bits are present and two timer uh, time terminal bits T0 and T1. So due to T0 and T1, we can decide whether the DMA performing a read operation or write operation or verify DMA uh, cycle is verified or not, we will, we will consider. So let us see T0 and T1, uh, there is a one table, T0 and T1 and a type of operation. So because of two timer pins, we have four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If it is 0, 0, then DMA performs DMA verify cycle. So DMA verify cycle is uh, occurred. If it is 0, 1, DMA write cycle. So DMA is ready to perform write operation. Okay, with the memory or IO. So it will uh, write data to the memory device or IO device. If it is 1, 0, DMA read cycle. So in that case, what happens? DMA uh, read data either from memory or IO by activating corresponding IO read bar and IO, uh, sorry, memory read bar here. Uh, by uh, DMA writes data to memory or IO by activating either memory write bar or IO write bar. So DMA verify cycle means, uh, okay, in that cycle what happens, uh, DMA will check whether the peripherals uh, are ready or not, okay, that is verified here in the DMA verify cycle. If it is 1-1, one, one, it is an illegal operation, so they won't perform any of the operation. Like that, based on the terminal uh, bits T0 and T1, we can decide whether the DMA performing read or write or some other operation. Okay, count bits are used to specify the counting of uh, count uh, count value of the DMA cycles. Okay, and address lines uh, are used to uh, address line address registers are used to specify the uh, channel wise how many address lines it can access because of 16 address lines it can access 2 power 16 uh, memory location nothing but 64 kilobytes. So in addition to these two, okay, these two are 16 bit registers. So in addition to uh, uh, 16 bit registers, we have 8 bit registers also. Let us see. Now let us see here it is a, hmm, now we have two more 8-bit registers named, named as mode set register and other is status register. Two more registers are there, mode set register and status register. Let us see first mode set register. So mode set register having 8 bits uh, calling as B0 to B7. 
okay so in that uh, first bit b not bit enables dma channel zero so in order to uh, enabling the individual channels uh, we use mode set register okay so now uh, this mode set register is controlled by the read write control logic of dma controller and read write control logic further control uh, controlled by processor so processor will uh, giving command to read write logic read write control logic accordingly control logic will control the mode set register okay so in that if this b not is uh, zero it, then it indicates that uh, it, it won't enable so your channel zero is not enabled it is disabled if it is one it will enable like that uh, individual channels are enabled with the help of b not to b3 so b not is related to enabling the dma channel zero b1 is enabling the dma channel one like that enabling dma channel two and channel three first of all bits the next one b4 enables rotating priority so i already mentioned uh, priority resolver operates in two modes fixed mode fixed priority mode and rotating priority mode so in order to enter into rotating priority mode so we should activate b4 b4 is activating then we are uh, we are enabling rotating priority mode of operation so in that rotating priority mode after channel 0 the processor will execute either channel 2 uh, or uh, after channel 0 uh, the execution will go to either channel 1 or channel 3 okay if it is clockwise channel 1 If it is anti-clockwise, channel three will execute. Okay, in that case, rotating priority must be enabled. Okay, now this B4 must be enabled. Then it enter into rotating priority mode. Then enables extended write. So okay, now this pin is mainly for performing extended write operation. Okay, it's a uh, generally memory read, memory write, I/O read, I/O write. Ah, uh, na. Okay, it's a super superior feature. It's enable extended write also possible with the help of B5. Then uh, another B6 is enables TC stop. So TC means terminal count. So okay, TC stop bit is enabled. Okay, so if you enable this B6 automatically, TC uh, count is stopped. Okay, that is activated. TC count is stopped automatically if you enable this one. Then enables auto load. Auto uh, load is another uh, feature of uh, DMA. So if B7 is enabled, then automatically eight to five seven enter into auto load feature. Uh, means auto reloading. auto reloading means all values are reloaded to preset values okay in that case enables auto load must be activated okay so now all these eight bits related to mode set register okay and this register is controlled by control logic of dma controller and that control logic is controlled again by processor then other is a status register okay status now this register specifies the status of each channel here here also eight bits are there upper three are zeros they are reserved bits so now all are with zeros we won't perform any operation lower five only performing so in that let us see b not b not is tc status of channel zero so we know tc bit is activating for every uh, tc bit is activating only after completion of dma service so now D, that particular tc status of that particular channel zero <coughs> is decided by b not so b not will give you information about the tc status of channel zero okay similarly tc status of for channel one is uh, in the It is specified by B1 bit. Similar TC status of channel two is specified by B2, like that B3. Okay, so this status indicates whether the DMA service is completed by channel zero or not. Similarly, DMA service is completed by channel one or not, like that. All these uh, four statuses are decided by four bits. Then another is update flag. Okay, now it's nothing but tuning update flag. So whenever if it is uh, activating automatically, all uh, TC statuses are uh, updated to reset values. Okay. Like that, we have two eight-bit registers and two sixteen-bit registers are present in the DMA controller. Okay. So now in the in, in all these four uh, registers, the mode set register is a very very important uh, uh, register. Okay. Now accordingly, we can uh, enable the corresponding channels. Okay. And uh, status register only specifies the status of the particular uh, channel. Okay, whether the TC status of channel, okay, TC status means whether uh, that the DMA service is completed or not. That is decided by TC status. Okay, that is controlled by status register. Now, other important one is modes of eight two five seven. Here also we have checked. So I already mentioned eight two five seven operates in two modes. One is fixed priority mode. That is called as a priority ratings fixed priority mode. In that uh, highest priority is for channel zero and lowest priority is for channel three. So now it is fixed priority mode. So, for example, one external uh, peripheral device requesting the uh, requesting the processor system bus with the help of uh, channel zero request signal, then processor will give you acknowledgement to that particular uh, peripheral because it is having highest priority. So, channel zero is having highest priority, or channel three is having least priority in the case of uh, fixed priority mode. 
whereas in the rotating priority mode this is rotating priority mode for example channel 0 uh, uh, dma service is completed then what happens you now uh, if it is a uh, clockwise channel 1 uh, will activate okay if it is anti clockwise uh, channel 3 will activate like that uh, in rotating priority okay depending on the uh, condition either channel 1 or channel 3 will activate like that it is uh, bi directional here only one direction is mentioned by after channel 0 channel 3 will work okay then channel channel 2 also after channel 2 channel 3 will work or channel 1 will work no all are bi directional okay right like that uh, fixed priority fixed levels are fixed whereas rotating priority we can select after one channel execution is over then we go to either this side or this side like that we have two modes of uh, uh, priority resolver operation rotating priority as well as fixed priority okay now i hope from this video i hope from this video you learned uh, what are the various registers of 8257 and uh, what are the various modes of 8257 especially in the priority resolver operation okay thank you for watching this video if you really like please kindly share my video to your friends and subscribe my channel